Hello. Um, thank you for taking the time to watch my vi uh, video on uh, my take on Four Thieves Vinegar. I like to call it the my vulva vinegar. Um, and I, it's it's really actually a very important part of our practice if you tend to cast a lot like I do. Um, it has a lot of different properties. Um, it can be used for home protection for, um, to ward off evil spirits, um, to ward off physical illness, um, and to keep away evil. Um, but it also can bring in prosperity. It can also bring in peace and comfort and, um, health and prosperity financially. So it's a really, really great thing and tool item to have in your witch cabinet. Um, a lot of people in many cultures tend to use them um, or leave them in their kitchens. Um, after I let them sit on my altar or under my altar um, for t about nine weeks, I tend to work in the numbers of nine, um, I will place it in my kitchen. I'm making one for myself um, because many of you know I just recently moved across country. Um, and so it was time to start a new one for this home and everybody that inhabits this home. So I'm going to be making a new one for myself and I'm going to be making a few of them for um, some other friends of mine. So I'm going to walk you through the way that I make my uh, Four Thieves or like I like to call it vulva vinegar. So there's a couple ingredients um, that I use. Um, and... I use them for many, many different reasons. Um, I'm not going to go into full detail on why I use each and every ingredient. I'll just give you a brief just on why. Um, but I've also chosen these ingredients to correlate with um, our gods and goddesses too. So some of the ingredients that you're going to need is apple cider vinegar. Um, especially if you're using this for um, spiritual and home protection and in your spell work. Um, I recommend getting using a dark apple cider vinegar um, because of all of the healing and supernatural properties that it has. Um, you can use white distilled vinegar if that's what you have on hand, um, but I really do recommend the apple cider vinegar. Um, you're going to need ginger root. Um, you don't need very much, literally a chunk like this will go a really long way. Um, a garlic head, depending on how many people um, reside in the home. Um, if you have quite a few people that reside in the home, like I do, um, you're going to want to use probably more than one, two, two would work. But if it's just you um, and maybe one other person, one clove should be just fine. Um, lemon. But I just use the lemon peel. You can slice it and put chunks of lemon in there. I've seen a lot of people do that. Um, but you don't have to. I just like to use the lemon peel. I personally think it's really, really pretty to just use the peel. Um, and then bay leaves. Um, as far as my herbs that we use, I put in here, I put in... Rosemary, uh, mogwort, and hyssop, pink Himalayan salt, cinnamon, star anise, and cloves. I don't know if you can see that. So, if you don't have all of these ingredients, um, you don't have to use all of these ingredients. That's This is just what I personally use. Um, but if you only have some of these ingredients, you know, you'll be just fine. So, anyways, um, I have already blessed all of these ingredients. I've cleansed all these ingredients. I've already consecrated all of these ingredients. Um, so, I'm... I don't have to go into detail over that, um, but I do recommend you cleansing, um, especially the jar, and blessing the jar 
call upon um, your god or goddess that you work with in your um, in the path and bless your jar. Um, I take my sage, light it. Here, I'll just do it for you. And then I bless the jar. I sage the inside and the outside. And that's how I bless the jar. Um, then I go ahead and place the clove of garlic inside it. The garlic tends to be the biggest um, item that goes in there, so I like to put it in there first. And then I go ahead and take the lemon. Lemons are really, really, really easy to peel. You can use a lime if you have, that's what you have on hand. Um, you can use an orange. Um, really any citrus fruit will work. Um, lemons just have a lot of really good healing properties and a lot of protective properties. And I use them a lot of my spell work. So that's why I chose to use lemons. Then you just tuck them in like a few pieces. And then I take my ginger root. And like I said, you really don't need a whole lot of ginger root. Um, I don't peel mine either before I put it in there. So if you do a lot of um, spell work, you might want to put a few more pieces in there. I do a lot of spell work, so I am going to put two pieces in there. But like I said, you don't need a whole lot. Ginger goes a long way. And then I take my rosemary. Um... I take a sprig of it. You don't really need that much. You can find it in the supermarket in the near the lettuce and the salad package. Just um, this time of year, it's kind of trying to come out of winter, um, and I don't have any fresh rosemary of my own, so I did go ahead and buy this in the supermarket. Um, typically, I prefer to have grown mine, but I right now I didn't get to. I was in the process of a mood, so I didn't really have a lot of my own personal rosemary on hand. But I did go ahead and bless this, and I'm gonna go ahead and stick this in there. Okay. And then I am going to place some of my herbs in there. Um, You don't need to use, I know a lot of you don't have mogwort and hyssop on hand. Um, I, I do. Um, but if, so if you don't have it, you don't have to use it at all. So don't feel like you need to. But you just take a little bit. Just a pinch. I have a really bad habit of not measuring things, by the way. This is high stop. Same thing with high stop. <clears throat> and then these are my red pepper 
flakes. Um, I don't know, I forgot to list that as one of the ingredients, but that is one of the ingredients. These have extremely strong um, protective properties, um, especially against to ward against evil spirits. These were a gift to me um, by one of um, another Volvo friend of mine. Uh, she had charged these on her altar. They've been charging on my altar for a long time. Um, so these are really, really charged. Um, but you could, again, you can find red chilies um, in the grocery store. If you're looking for the ones in the grocery store, go to the, the Hispanic aisle. They have um, whole chili, so you can actually get the skin and the seeds, and that's what I would typically get and bless them if I wasn't able, if my friend wouldn't have given me these. And then I take my cinnamon bark and I place it in there. My star anise. in my clove. You don't really need that much clove. Okay, so the only thing that I have left to do is put in my bay leaf and my charms. Um, what I did is I drew my protective home bind room that I created myself. I'm not going to show you what it is because it is for my own personal, my, my own home. Um, but I also drew another one right back here on the back for a spiritual um, warning of evil spirits. And I placed the names of everybody that resides in the home around this piece of wood. Um, you don't have to use a piece of wood. Um, I'm fortunate. Uh, Tom decided to, or he had a bunch of pieces of room, or then pieces of wood that he cut from our land. So... That's what I used. If you um, don't have any pieces like that, you can actually go to the craft store. And they have these little discs in the wood burning section of like a craft store. They're really, really cheap and you can write it on that. Um, or you can write it on your bay leaf. Uh, you can do that. You can even write it on the some garlic skin, but it tears really easy. But you can do that. So I'm going to go ahead and put mine in because I have this charm that I'm going to put in here as well, but I just tuck that in, and then I put this in there. Okay. So, and that is all of the ingredients. So then I'm going to go ahead and pour in the vinegar. You want to do this slowly so it doesn't splash everywhere. And you just go ahead and fill it to the rim of this jar. You do want to leave a little bit of space. Expand. And then I like to use mason jars just because it has a really, really nice seal on it. Um, and they won't spill later on, especially if I'm shipping them, which some of these I am. So I want to make sure I got a really nice jar that wouldn't leak. And then that is when I would go ahead, if it is for my own home, um, I would draw the bind rune on top of this jar. I'm not going to do that for the ones that I'm sending to my friends that will be their um, personal um, jars. If they want to do that, then they can do that. Another really important ingredient um, is nails. In the nine weeks after it sits in my on my altar, um, charging and... Um, gathering is this intent. I'm going to open the jar and place a nail into it. Um, 
the nail really seals it and gives it my seal of approval, um, concreting it to myself and to my home um, to protect you or to protect me and everybody that resides within this home. I will be sending an email to the ones that I'm giving these other jars I'm going to. Um, so if you're making this for yourself, you just need one nail. Hardware store, like 10 cents. No big deal. Um, these jars are really, really super easy to make. Um, they're a lot of, I mean, they have so many metaphysical and spiritual properties and cleansing properties. So I recommend it for anybody that it practices the occult um, or cast magic or does any form of spiritual work. I highly recommend it. Um, sit it in your kitchen um, after it is done charging for the nine weeks. Um, the number nine is very sacred among the Norse path. Um, and that is why I do the number nine and I leave it charging for nine weeks. Um, Let's see, is there anything else? I don't think I'm... For, oh, the salt. So, that's... I didn't put that in the jar. And I don't put this, that in the jar. What I do is I put this in the salt in a pan. And that is where I sit these jars in. So I leave it sitting in charged sea salt um, for the nine-week period. And I think that is about it. If you guys have any questions, you can comment below, uh, private message me, and I will do my best to get back to you. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.